Hello everyone, my name is Danny Pacheco and I'm a software developer here at Scion. I'm here today to give you an overview of the system software available on our latest handheld, the EP10. The EP10 is running Microsoft's latest OS for the enterprise, Windows Embedded Handheld 6.5. The OS is optimized for finger touch and gesture based navigation. We have further enhanced it to take full advantage of the latest technologies available on the EP10. Let me show it to you right over here on the screen. The first thing you'll notice is the new home screen. It has been updated to be optimized for finger touch and gesture based navigation. It provides high level overview of information at a glance and it gives you links to the associated applications. At the top of the screen is the title bar which contains system notifications. To access any of these notifications just simply tap on the bar and larger finger friendly icons will appear. You'll notice as well that there's a magnifying glass on this tray. Just hitting that will zoom in into any part of your display. You can hit the button here to exit out of that mode. At the bottom of the screen is the tile bar, which contains large finger-friendly tiles to interact with the device. The two buttons here and here are owned by the running application and can be used for its needs. You see that it, the application is adjusting them there. On the bottom here, you'll notice the new start button. It has been brought down from the top of the display so that it's easier to interact with your finger without blocking what you're seeing. The OK Cancel button has also been brought down and is available here. Let's go into the Start menu. This has been updated from previous versions of the OS. It used to be a drop down list of applications. Now it's a list of finger friendly icons that you can easily select. You also find a link to your system settings here. Under the settings, you'll find a collection of applets that allow you to fully customize your device to your need. For example, the home applet will allow you to customize the look and feel of the home screen. Under power, you'll find detailed battery information, for example, remaining capacity and time to empty. We have also provided a battery health service which can be configured here. This will give you real-time information about the status of your battery and the remaining life. Under the personal folder, we've provided app launch keys and the buttons applet that allow you to fully customize your keyboard to your needs. Under connections, you'll find configuration related to all your wireless radios, including the Bluetooth manager and our 802.11 supplicant Wi-Fi config. All other settings will be under the systems folder. Here you'll find applets that control the operation of all the hardware like your imagers, cameras and sensors. And it's also a link to some of the tools we have provided like Scion View and Total Recall. If you'd like to have a look at some of the applications that run on EP10, you can go to partner up here and get more information on them. For those of you that are using HTML based applications, it's important to note the browser. We are running Internet Explorer Mobile 6. It is fully compliant with HTML 4.01 and runs Adobe Flash. It opens up in full screen mode. Pressing here will get you your tiles down at the bottom. It will also get you a bar on the side that allows you to zoom in on the display. Note the smooth panning and scrolling. That's all I had for you today. If you have any questions or you want to find out more information, please visit us at ingenuityworking.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this informative.